Have you lost sight of your hope? Are you wondering how you are going to make it through each day? Do you feel lonely, desperate, alone, and helpless? Those feelings are common nowadays, and I just want you to know that you are not the only one. The good news is there is hope in Christ. Yes, you heard me right. There is hope in Christ. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the Word of Hope, and I'm Art Velasquez, and uh, our topic for today is about finding hope. And I pray that uh, this message could give you uh, light in finding your hope. Losing sight of hope is much easier to do than you might realize. It can be devastating when it happens. Suddenly it seems as though you are in the dark and una unable to find your way to the light. However, it does not have to stay like that. You can find your way again and get, get yourself to a healthier and happier you. The good book, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. The question is, how do you go about doing that? The truth is that no magical answer. There is no magic that will instantly reinstate your lost feelings. You are going to have to do some work to revitalize that feeling in yourself. And another good news is, you can get it back. It may take a bit, a bit of a time, but you can get it back. Remember, nothing is impossible with God. The key is to stay focused on the fact that you are going to be able to find your hope again. And that is not by your own ability and strength. We are to trust in the Lord who is our hope in this life and the life that is to come. Yes, Jesus is our only hope in this life and the life to come. One of the biggest reasons that people lose hope is that they get bogged down with all of the stresses in their lives. Rather than focusing on that, you have to take a minute to realize of the good things that you have in your life. Keep in mind that these good things are not always big things or even, even uh, big events in your life. So, sometimes they may be simple and small, but good things are always happening in our lives and the lives of our loved ones. Yes, there are uh, little things that happen every day and they are good. Take a moment to be grateful that every day when you come home, you have a warm bed to sleep, uh, a food to eat, ability to work, strength to work our, our, our way or your way to living a good life in Christ. Noticing these small good things daily could help amplify the hope that you have within you. So uh, I said it right, you have to notice these little things in your life, good things in your life, and it will amplify the hope that is within you. Often we lose our hope when we feel like our situation are of dire importance. In actuality, many of the issues that you may be worrying about are small in comparison with the rest of the world. It was said that the things that we worry about in life are things that does not come to pass, meaning the things we are worried about is 80% not going to happen. So worry just uh, make it uh, big, bigger than uh, we think it is. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 27, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than any clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into, ba into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they are? Yes. We are more valuable than the birds of the air. And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Nobody can add an hour to the span of our, li to, 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 to the span of our life by thinking. Hope also exists in a strong support system, by the way, and you have people around you that love you and that uh, are there for you. Too often, we forget that there are people who love us and are willing to be, sh uh, to, to be a shoulder to cry on and an ear to hear your pain. Lean on those around you because they want to be useful. Allow them to bolster you up and return the favor when you can. 
more than anything else remember that each minute that passes is a minute that things can change in you are not stuck in your situation everything in life is only for now so take a breath and decide where you want to be in life and then carve yourself out of uh, out a path to get there take the first step go to the altar of prayer and voice your faith in god that is the best way to regain the hope that you thought that you had lost remember what jesus said in john chapter 16 verse 33 and i quote i have said these things to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but take heart i have overcome the world so you see there is a promise that the lord had given us so do not lose hope god loves you so much and until next time god bless you shalom